Hi everyone, I am S. S. Kiran. I am dealing courses electronic devices and circuits. Okay, I would like to discuss about some numericals in this course. Okay, these problems discussion is very helpful to end semester examinations. At the same time, other competitive examinations also. Yes, my dear students, I am requesting you to. You have to compulsory attempt all problems in your final exams. Okay, let us start. Uh, read the first problem. Okay, in a p-type semiconductor material, the Fermi level is zero point three electron volt. Okay, if you consider, if it is a p-type semiconductor material. the uh, fermi level is 0.3 electron volt above the valence band okay now you have to compulsory consider this valence band okay as per examiner given by at a room temperature of 300 kelvins the question is determine the new position of this fermi level for different different temperatures the first temperature is 350 kelvins and the second temperature is 400 kelvins anyway this uh, fermi dirac distribution function concept point of view i have given clear explanation in my last lecture in my description i have provided link okay please go through it now i will discuss about the problem solution okay first of all you people must keep as a heading like solution okay keep has heading solution right okay first you have to mention if any given data is given by examiner or not right so one more side heading is given data this is called given data right given data the given data is given by the examiner the fermi level is 0.3 electron volt above the valence band so it's strictly instructed by the examiner you have to take compulsory p type semiconductor yes of course uh, fermi level is given by you have to write e f e f minus e f minus e v equal to 0.3 electron volt this data is provided by the examiner of course the room temperature the room temperature t equal to 300 kelvins 300 kelvins okay now this is the given data now the next one is the next one is the formula the next one is the formula the next side heading is the formula actually in problem clearly mentioned about it is a p type semiconductor material now you have to write that fermi dirac distribution function with respect p type material at the same time valence band okay now the formula the fermi very very important the fermi level in a p type in a p type material in a p type material is given by is given by here i will mention is given by you have to write directly no issue this is the p type material so i have considered ef minus ev equal to ef minus ev equal to kt ln n v by by n a this v is nothing but valence band concentration 
this a is nothing but acceptor concentration this k can be treated as a boltzmann constant this t is temperature within kelvins right anyway this is exclusively for p type material if you want n type material you can write very simple i will write short form uh, i will write short form no issue some people know very well i think it's ec minus ef ec minus ef you have to write as it is kt ln nc we have to consider conduction band at the same time donor this is for n type material okay no issue but you in examiner only asked about the p type material that's why you have to consider only in this formula okay now after uh, taking this formula you have to assign one name this should be treat as a one okay what examiner asked determine the determine the uh, at uh, new position new position of the fermi level at 350 kelvins and 400 kelvins yes now uh, the next side heading is calculations the next presentation is very very important while doing the problem in the final examinations calculations yes uh, actually ef minus ev equal to 0.3 electron volts then k is constant here boltzmann uh, t is uh, 300 300 kelvins no need to write k there is chance to get confused this is a boltzmann this is the units for the temperature no need to write unit part this is ln then simply write valence concentration by this uh, nv by na acceptor concentration this can be treated as a two second equation right the second the next part is determine at 350 kelvins yes anyway now this is the second equation i will take one line center its center the first part can be okay uh, treat as the first part can be treat as uh, at very good at how much uh, 350 kelvins to determine this can be treat as a, a at 350 kelvins okay it is the 350 kelvins now uh, 350 kelvins now uh this equation 1 this equation 1 again change it to following like that e f1 just you have to mention here e f1 minus ev equal to you have to substitute t value first you have to write as it is k then you have to write t value that is 350 no need to write the units why because there is a chance to get confused this k is boltzmann constant this is the units for the temperature with respect to kelvins then you have to substitute as it is ln nv by na anyway this is fine this can be treated as a expression 3 now it's your turn so you have to do uh, 3 by 1 you will get one more expression no 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 need to do one you have to 3 by to second expression it is very easy for doing the calculation yes the first this can be treated as a third expression this can be treated as a second expression now e f1 minus ev okay this is k uh, 350 ln nv by na okay this is one expression simply by 2 this by 2 means what uh, this 0.3 no need to write this all units part you can substitute this part this part okay this part now k into 300 ln nv by na anyway somewhat easy here okay k k get cancelled ln nv by na this expression and this expression get also cancel now finally e f1 minus ev by 0.3 equal to final expression 
350 by 300 so 0 0 get cancelled now now i want to extend this line okay i want to extend this line right okay now uh, this uh, ef1 minus ev equal to i think doing some mathematical part um, 35 by 30 into 0 0.3 you have to use calculators very simple i think this three some three get cancelled here some 0 0.1 may get okay uh, 0 0.01 uh, doing these are all parts um, now at finally 0 0.35 electron volts very simple this zero you can write this one okay 0 0.3 now uh, see here ef1 minus ev equal to 0 0.35 electron volt this is the new position this is the new position for okay you can do some mathematical part definitely you will get ev ef1 minus ev equal to 0 0.35 electron volt at 350 kelvins 350 kelvins right okay the first new position is fixed that is called 0 0.35 electron volt now i am going to discuss the second part that is b uh, at i will write neatly no issue no problem at uh, 3 at uh, 400 kelvins you have to do little bit fast this expression uh, one can be converted e f2 minus ev okay simple then k in t place you have to substitute 400 no need to write units then n ln nv by na right okay now uh, this can be treated as an expression yes a small inconvenience is there now this is expression 4 now 4 by 2 okay 4 by 2 you have to find out now okay actually what is 4 here the 4 is the 4 is i will write here no issue okay 4 is e f 2 e f 2 minus e v by this 0 0.3 equal to this expression as it is you have to write down 400 ln n v by n a okay by this expression k by 300 okay ln n v by n a now what happened this k this k get cancelled this expression ln n v by n a is cancelled okay now final e f2 f2 minus e v by 0 0.3 equal to 100 100 cancel okay two zeros four by three okay now e f2 this is the new position e f2 valence band e v 4 by 3 into 0 0.3 okay now uh, this 3 and this 3 okay let's say 0 0.1 something the final answer is 0 0.4 electron volts for what for 400 kelvins this is the new position for 350 kelvins this is the new position for at 400 kelvins so what happened at 300 kelvins it is 0 0.3 if it is 350 kelvins how much it is a 0 0.35 now considering 
400 kelvin the new position is 0.4 electron volts yes keep watching i will update more numericals for next sessions also okay thank you so much keep watching